Someone asked for a newbie guy to the Teal Method, and so here you go. I mean, the Teal Method is one big glorified reversal hunter. We're looking for reversals. Why? Because if you do find a reversal, then getting in on it is great because you can put your stop loss like here. If it's really a reversal, you can have a super tight stop loss. You can put a stop loss here and then go uh, reverse. If it's not a reversal, then I want to get out. So that's how. And again, also, let's say we started the day off and you want to be in a trend, this uptrend. If you buy Chart Prime, Lux, Algo, whatever, it's going to tell you to get in right here. If you get a good, re and, you, and your stop loss is like ridiculously huge, a good reversal finder will let you get in on the second, third candle, and then the rest of the day you're there. So, now that that's said, the reversal indicators are basically bunched up into a package. Here is trampoline. It is the T. It finds, guess what? Yes, reversals. It finds reversals. And we'll have tips and tricks on finding reversals and uh, cashing out on reversals a little later. But here's one tool in your box, which is a reversal finder called Trampoline. I actually had a guy write me, and he said all he uses is Trampoline. And he was like, you know, hey, I really like your system. All I really use is Trampoline. So, you know, that's all he does. So, entertainment purposes only, obviously, but there's one tool in your box of tools. Another thing is a shark, which basically shows when the RSI is oversold. You can also do a new feature down here called Use RSI. If you check that, it'll show you not only when the RSI is oversold or overbought, but it will also let you know when you wick the uh, when you have a wick candle when it's oversold so you can see it it flags less times than the shark but the shark's pretty cool it just shows you hey we're a little bit oversold here and then boom you can see this we're a little bit overbought here and then boom we reverse and obviously you can combine this with you know captain obvious trampoline some squeeze and the cloud the resistance cloud the squeeze the trampoline so let's combine all three of those tools into here so we have a oversold rsi we come in we see a trampoline then we come in and we see a squeeze so basically this is a trade why because we have indicators that we're getting to the end of this particular surge Number two, we're in the resistance cloud. All tools show resistance cloud. If you go here to Market Oracle and you want to use that from Chart Prime, they also have a resistance cloud called the, the Momentum Wave Bands. Unfortunately, you can't adjust the opacity of these stupid things, but yeah. So they basically have the same idea, right? We're basically in this area of tension we need to relax a little bit and so again we're over sold here trampoline possible reversal squeeze possible reversal so we have one two three and if you count the cl uh, cloud four reasons to trade and that's basically all the to method is is identifying enough evidence to f do a trade like would i do a trade right here no I, I have no evidence to do a trade right there it makes no sense would i do a trade right here no it doesn't make any sense to do a trade right there i'm going to wait until i have enough evidence where i want to do a trade here we are we're overbought we're in the resistance cloud i might do a trade if we go downwards and here we start to go downwards so i would enter into a trade and uh, see where that goes and i tell you the meat and potatoes of trading for me is when we cross a line right because if you go into the settings you have a setting to show the 200 ema and the vwap what does that mean that means if uh, this is the 200 EMA in white, this is the volume weighted, the VWAP down here in blue. So basically we cross a line and we want to go back the other way. So we cross a line and we retest it here. And obviously we failed the retest because we can't go past the line. And then we have a big candle going the opposite direction. That's a trade for me. The cross and the retest is the oldest trick in the book. 
and these two lines allow you to uh, get in on that. They allow you to see bounces where you're bouncing off of these lines sometimes. Like right here, we're bouncing off of it. Right here, we're bouncing off of it, bouncing off of it, hugging it, and finally penetrating through it. Again, we cross, we retest, we reject, and we go up, and then we penetrate and go through. So here we cross, and then we retest, and then we go the other way. So again, meat and potatoes, this has been around forever, and that's why we have lines in the method. The only thing that's not a reversal indicator is the V for vodka shot. You go into your settings, you show vodka shot. That's basically a trend indicator. It's going to be the same as if you turned on chart prime. Oh my God, that's so, that's so terrible. If you turn on chart prime and said, hey, I want a trend indicator. And uh, then, you know, you kind of waited for it to update on your screen. So this is going to be similar to that. We have a vodka shot here. The chart prime says sell. We have a vodka shot here. Chart prime says buy. We have a vodka shot here. Chart prime says sell. We have a vodka shot here. Chart prime says sell. Buy here. Buy here. We have a couple of false flags. We have a sell here. We have a buy here. So it's basically the same as something like a i'm not saying it's better than chart prime i'm just saying that it's it's similar in that it's just a signal to go ahead and buy or it is a signal to go ahead and short so that's the only thing outside of the reversal indicators that i have is the vodka shot and here we go the tail method for dummies let's look at our setting under candle type we have wave Let's learn what a wave is because it's critical. It's absolutely critical to understanding everything. So wave is basically green candles followed by red candles in the wave candle type. In other words, we have green and green overlapping with green non-overlapping with red non-overlapping, red non-overlapping. Now what I mean by non-overlapping, I mean that this particular candle here has no overlap with a previous candle. So you see this candle here picks up where this candle left off. So that's very important. That, this is a sign of strength, right? If this candle had no wick, that is even, even a bigger sign of strength. But right now, that is a sign of strength, and that makes up a wave. So why are waves important? Waves are important because they let you know about what way, what direction you're going and, and when to enter, right? Because waves are very important. If you basically have this big tsunami wave, it's going to be accompanied by a tsunami flush. And we'll see that later on in the day where you have, again, a big tsunami wave accompanied by a big tsunami flush. Very rarely do you have like a, oh, a little wave and oh, all the way down, right? You'll do have those instances, and I'll show you how to get in those. But for the most part, you have a big tsunami followed by a flush. Uh, and over here, kind of the same thing. We have a, a pretty much a flush followed by a big upward trend. And then we have a big upward trend followed by a flush. So you get the idea. That's basically how it works. So how do we trade this? Well, first off, you can tell we're moving up. Captain Obvious, if we just do this here, you can tell that we're moving up, right? You have more, you have more on the back side than you do on the front side. So in other words, the back of the wave is longer is longer over here than the shorter part of the wave over here and that means obviously we're going up and you can physically see we're going up how do i trade this obviously you want to trade at the bottom of one of these waves right how do you know when the bottom is present eh, you don't really but occasionally price will give you a break price will make a nice little break for you let's remove the drawings for now and look at this. We got the wave here. And one of these waves, on this wave here, we had a squeeze. So the squeeze tells you, hey, we're going up. Am I just blindly going to enter trade on here because I saw a squeeze, a dot? No. No, I'm not. I'm going to wait. But when I see this wave coming here and then coming up, I know that the that this is a correct assumption that we're going up. So the minute I see this candle start to come up here and I see no overlap between this candle and this candle, I'm going to get in on this candle 
and I'm going to put a stop loss down here at the swing, right? So does it make sense? And occasionally, price will give you a freebie. When I say a freebie, I mean this wave, we come down here, and you have this beautiful buy signal candle here. You have a beautiful buy signal candle here. What's a buy signal candle? It's called a hammer. And the hammer is basically a body here with a long wick. The wick means that we try to come in this direction and the market maker said, no, you're not going in that direction. So we said, oh, okay. And then we continued on, right? So you have a freebie right here. Occasionally you have a squeeze dot right here or an early reversal or something, or maybe a trampoline, you never know. But right here, you got a little gift from the market makers and they gave you this. They gave you this, you know, occasionally you just get a nice little gift for Christmas. It's Christmas season. You got a nice little gift over here, too, with a nice hammer. And obviously the next candle needs to be going up. I mean, a hammer is fine, but if the next candle is going down, that's that's an issue. So the next candle needs to be going up. So the next candle is going up here. Next candle is going up here. And the next candle out of this hammer is going up here. So you have you have one, you have two, you have three good things. Now let's talk about reversals. As we're coming up here and we're going down and we're making these little kiddie pool waves, right? Making these little small little waves, small little kiddie pool waves. Would you would you do a reversal right here? I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't. Obviously, you see this, and then I see this little wave here, and and this part of the wave here is much bigger than this part right here. So, am I going to take that reversal? No, it appears we're going up. So, I'm not going to be taking that. So, that is going to be a signal that I ignore, and that's why we use our brain with this. Now, let's go to the tidal wave over here, right? You have another reversal signal here. Are you going to take it? I don't know. It's up to you. Early reversal signal? Maybe. Maybe not. Let's look at the previous waves. So we had a wave up here. We had a wave here. We had a wave here. It just doesn't look like one that I would take. However, however, that is a gravestone. And a gravestone is a heavy-duty cell candle. Heavy-duty cell candle. So like I said before, occasionally the market will give you a freebie. And in this case, it gave me a freebie. It said, hey, I got a gravestone for you. And a gravestone is a cell, is a cell signal, is a cell indicator. So I'm going to wait one candle. But then I see a bright red candle, which again means that we're on the downtrend of the wave. So we peaked here and then we went down. So here's my first indication that, that we're on the downslide of this wave. So based upon a gravestone, a freebie, and the early reversal, when I see this, I go ahead and get in a short and see where it goes, right? And see where it goes and see where it takes us. Now, what about the tsunami? The tsunami of coming up here and then whoosh up here. We have a squeeze at the top of this tsunami, now, due to the fact that this is a literal tsunami and it's about to break, am I going to take the squeeze? Absolutely. Absolutely, I am. Let's look at the reason that you get rewarded for taking that particular indicator. Now, you'll look. Do you remember I said that a gap in between, uh, no overlap in between candles is a sign of strength? Not only do you have no overlap, you have a, a decent-sized gap here, between these two candles. Again, that's a sign of strength. You have a gap between, sorry, you have a gap between these two candles, a little smaller. Again, a sign of strength. So this reinforces the fact that my short was on target. What if I never saw this? What if I saw uh, a candle coming up here and then I'd be like, all right, you know, I'm out. I'm out. But I don't see that. I see the gap here. No, a big gap here and a gap there. And that reinforces my decision to go short. And the reason I went short in the first place is because of, obviously, the tsunami building up. Now, here's another signal that's saying we're reversing. Am I going to take that on the downside of the tsunami? Uh, the answer is no. The, realistically, no. I'm just not going to do it, right? 
because we're on the other, we're on the downslide of a tsunami. I'm not going to do that. And so that is going to be an important distinction that you need to have here when you're looking at these signals is what is the waves doing and what are my options here? You do have a reversal here. Is that possible? Maybe, maybe, but we are on the downslide of a tsunami. Am I going to take this little thing up? Maybe. Let me see where it goes. If I get like one or two or three of these bright red, can the bright green candles, and maybe, maybe. But for now, it looks like a little bit of a pullback. So what's my advantage here? This is telling me that we are in a pullback situation. I like it. Because again, we're on the downslide of the tsunami. Now, what if we didn't have a gap between this candle and this candle? Then, eh, the tsunami is not really much of a tsunami. And then maybe we are going to wave back. We're going to go into some waves and we're going to go up, right? But no, big gaps, whoosh, down we go. So I'm going to use this as a pullback indicator. What do I mean by that? I mean, that means I want to catch the downslide of the next wave for short. Let's say, assuming I'm not in a short now, I want to catch the downslide when it starts to curve down. I want to catch that part, and that's going to be here somewhere, right? So we're going to wait. We're going to see the green. We crescent. We crescent. Bright red candle. Not only a bright red candle. Again, there's a gap in between here. You can see the gap in between this candle and this candle. This candle and this candle, big gap in between this candle and this candle. So I'm going to assume, because I'm crescenting already, I'm going to assume this is a pullback, and I'm going to enter my short here. This is a reverse hammer. That's a sell signal to sell candle. See, we got a reverse hammer, or H, we'll call it. That is, a, And it's bright red, indicating there's no overlap between here and there. So I'm going to get in on a short. I'm going to get in on short right there. So again, we had two options for short. You can pick and choose. You can do it here. Once you see this gap, boom, I'm in. Or you could go in here if you want to risk it for the biscuit. But once I see this massive gap here, I'm in hard for a good short. All right. So that's basically the waves, right? And again, you get a gift sometimes. You get a free gift with purchase well, boom, here we got green, and we got a wave down. We got green, and then, wait a minute, wait a minute. I told you we get free gifts. We get free gifts and prizes because it's close to Christmas, boys. And our free gift is a massive reverse hammer with a needle. Now, if we went and turned on the cloud, what do we see? Let's turn on the cloud. Let's turn on this damn cloud. What do we see? <gasps> Not only is it a needle rejection, but it is a needle that's hitting our resistance cloud. Needle literally in the cloud. And, and this thing is on top of the crescent, is on top of the crescent of another wave. So crescent wave here, needle in the cloud. When am I going to get in on this thing? On the first time I see a bright red candle start forming, which is right here. Shorting, I'm shorting, and there we go. So you understand how the waves work, and you understand why we have a needle, because we rejected, everybody wanted to go up, but the market maker says, no, I don't think so. We're going to go down. So there's only other one way to go. So the bridge that tried, the bridge under the, the troll under the bridge said, no, you're not going. So we went, oh, shit. Okay, we're going the other way, right? Monty Python. So we, there we go. All right. Now, down here, you do have a wave kind of forming up. You have a wave here. So we have a wave of green and a lot of red. We have wave here. We have a wave here and here, right? Now, what do you notice about these waves? I notice... Again, a little bit of green and a lot of red. So this section is larger than this section, which means that we are going down. This is a this is still we're going down. A lot of bright red, only one bright green in this wave. So again, pull back, 
you can tell a lot of bright red, not a lot of green. Now we're kind of getting a, still a lot of red, still not a lot of green, a lot of green crescent, and then down we go. So hopefully that helps you understand the wave portion of this. And again, here we have another tsunami. <laughs> I mean, this, this shit is so easy to spot. Like once you see this, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee this. I'm, I'm telling you now, you can't unsee it. Tsunami, big tsunami. Where's the tsunami peeking at? Inside of the cloud. We're peeking inside of the resistance cloud, which is right here. So where is this wave peeking at? Because again, you, you, you're getting confused. I think people are getting confused because they see red, but it's not bright red. So make sure that in your settings, make sure in your settings that your body is set to something super dark or super, super dark. Uh, <laughs> super dark or super, super dark. <laughs> Big tsunami wave. Green, green, green. We're in the resistance cloud. Squeeze. Squeezy McSquozies. I can hear the tidal wave from not only the beach, but from three uh, neighborhoods away, and the tidal wave is coming. Am I going to get on the squeeze for short? Duh. Whoosh. Let's say I don't want to risk it. Let's say I'm not in the mood to risk it. I don't really think that that is going to be the peak of a tsunami. I think we're going to still go up, right? You want to be safe. Understand. No gap here. Sign of strength. The minute I see a bright red candle, I'm going to go ahead and go short. And since I'm a little paranoid, I didn't believe this squeeze. I'm like, no, Mr. Squeeze, I don't like you. I'm going to go ahead and go short the minute this starts. Now, let me express again. This candle has no wick up top. So these are one minute candles. So this is one minute of people selling. This is minute two of people selling. This is minute three, four, five, six, seven. So you have seven minutes of people doing nothing but selling, right? So there's no wick here because there's no buyers. There's nobody to buy. So there's no wick. That's a sign of strength. That means the sellers are coming in hard. You got zero buyers. Zippo, zero zippo right here. You got zero zippo right here on this candle. So for these one minute sections, one minute here, one minute here, because we are on one minute time frame, you got no buyer. So there's no overlap here and there's no buyers up front. So the minute I see this thing forming, I'm going to short. I'm going to short probably four contracts. And because there's no buyers here, I'm pretty confident that it ain't going to come back. So I'm going to put a stop loss right there. Like some like a ridiculous stop, like right there. Because that's fine. If buyers show up in the next candle and we break it, that's fine, man. I lost 20 bucks. But I'm going to put a stop loss pretty aggressively right here. Because there's no wick. There's no buyers. And there's a gap in here. There's no overlap. So am I going to risk it with a squeeze? Maybe. If not, and I see no wick, and I see this candle start to form. And it, while it's forming, it's bright red. So the minute this thing starts forming, I already know right here that this is a bright red candle with no wick. And so I'm immediately going to go short. I'm just going to hit it immediately and go short if I didn't already short right here. So that's how waves work, guys. And it and once you understand this, and once you get the freebies, right? The freebies. You have to understand the freebies. A big dragonfly. A big dragonfly right here. And we just came off of a tidal wave. And the dragonfly is the first wave up. Now, because we're doing a tidal wave here, and we've been coming down, because we did a tidal wave here, we've been coming down, Am I going to go to the heavens here? Am I going to get excited and long duck dong this thing and put in 20 contracts long? Dude, no. We're clearly on a tidal wave down. 
I'm not going to put my money and I'm not going to bet the farm that this thing is going to go to the moon. I'm not going to go, yay, boys, to the moon. Can I get in on a long? Maybe. Risky. But if I want a quick scalp and this candle here, because again, let's look at this. This candle has no wick. This candle has no wick at all here. And there is, well, there's a little overlap, but there's no wick on this candle. So the sellers have already sold everything they're going to sell. And we have a recovery here with this dragonfly, and it's in the clouds. We have a dragonfly in the cloud. We got a freebie. We got a freebie. So we're going to do it for a couple of candles until we kind of see a bright red candle, and then we're going to get out. So we traded from here up to here. So that was our trade right there. Hey, the way it goes, man, the way it goes. So now we're going back up here. Again, we have green, red. Now you'll notice with the new wave that what, what direction are we going? We're going up. We're going back up. And that makes sense because we just flushed all the way down to the basement. So you'll look here that we have green, 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 followed by red. Now you'll notice the red again is another gift from God. God is handing you, or the price, the price gods, are handing you a big hammer candle that's a needle in the cloud. Here's the cloud. Here's the needle in the cloud. Because this is the bottom of a wave and the next candle's going up, I'm going to get into a long right here on this candle. Because again, we got a freebie. We got a, a nice Christmas gift with an obvious bottom. So now we know we're at the bottom of that wave. Are we at the bottom for the whole day? Is this officially the bottom all day? No, but it's the bottom of this green starting here and the red wave here because the next candle is going up on this candle. I'm long and we're going to ride it into the other side of the cloud. So that's how waves work, boys. So we have a wick rejection of this direction. In other words, a needle in the cloud. And so after the needle in the cloud, we have a very enthusiastic red candle going down. So that would be a trade for me. So that would be a short for me. So that is one piece of evidence. Well, two pieces of evidence. We have an early reversal indicator, which you never act on on its own. Re early reversal indicator. We have a needle in the cloud. We have a gap between uh, this candle and that candle. And the next forming candle has almost no wick. And it is bright red. So it indicates that we're going down from this resistance zone. So I would go ahead and short here. Over here, we have an early reversal pattern. And it does actually reverse. But that's only one piece of evidence. I'm not in the cloud. I'm not too inclined to take that trade. So let's look at another trade that I would take. Um, we have a squeeze right here in the cloud. We have a lot of sort of a big finale sell-off here. We have green indicating we're going the other way. We're literally going the other way because we have up, 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 right? So you see a squeeze here. I'm going to say, okay, talk me into it. Give me a green candle that's above the squeeze. That is this one right here. I'm going to go ahead and say, sure, I'm in. I'm going to go ahead and do a long. My stop would be basically under the swing. And then up we go. Here's another trade. We're in the cloud and we have a squeeze. And you can see the green, 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 greens are done. And this one is the first red. So the wave is completed. The big wave up here is completed. And now we're probably going to go down. So we're on a red candle. I'd go ahead and short this swing for the uh, top of it. Here's a good one. Needle in the cloud. Needle in the cloud is accompanied by reversal. It's accompanied by a very big bright red candle, which indicates the end of this particular wave from here to here. And so we're starting a new wave. And so this needle in the cloud with an early reversal, I would go ahead and take that. I would long and I'd put a stop down here. Here's another one. We have a very enthusiastic end to this trend. So we're up. Red, 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 red. End of wave. Now we're going to go back up. 
early reversal says we're possibly going back up. I see a green candle. The green candle's literally going up. I go ahead, enter along here, stop, down there. So you get the idea. It's just an evidence-based system where we look for evidence. If we have enough evidence, we take action. It's like going to court, right? You can't go to court without any evidence. You're going to get steamrolled by the other side. Here we have the end of a wave and then the beginning of a new wave because we have a green candle, bright green. We have a trampoline. We have a squeeze. Squeeze, one piece of evidence, trampoline. Two pieces of evidence, bright green candle. Three pieces of evidence in the cloud. Four pieces of evidence. So I have four pieces of evidence to go ahead and trade. And that is going to be a trade for me. We're going to long duck dong and a stop down here. Or if you're not comfortable with that, a stop right there. Right under the squeeze because it's supposed to be a reversal. And we'll see if it is a reversal after all. Here's an obvious one here. We got a squeeze. We got a needle on the cloud. The end of the wave. We got a squeeze right here. I'd go ahead and get in along for that. And uh, again, evidence-based system. Needle on the cloud. Squeeze in the cloud. Early reversal in the cloud. It ain't that hard. Waves. It ain't that hard. And that is an introduction to the TO method.